to the Valley Center Playhouse. Wait, Charlie, what wouldn't you be 
Joseph. I mean, Elmer Hopkins will pay you a whole dollar to see Joseph. Elmer's sick and tired of being Joseph just because his father is the minister. I mean, nobody wants to be Joseph. Nobody wants to be in it. <laughs> well, what are you going to be this year? I'm always in the angel choir. Why can't Charlie be in the angel choir? Because I can't sing. From what I've heard in the past, that doesn't seem to be a serious drawback. <laughs> the way in the manger always sounds to me like a closet full of mice. Hey, what do you wear in the angel choir? Bed sheets. A oh boy, some choice. Bathrobes or bed sheets? Come on, let's go watch some TV. Oh, you know Mrs. Armstrong works very hard to make a lovely experience for everyone. Oh, Mom, you know Mrs. Armstrong just likes to run things. Oh, you're right, of course. You now she runs the pageant, and she runs the potluck supper, and she is chairman of the bazaar. You know, I think Helen Armstrong would give the sermon if anyone would let her. Is that George Armstrong's wife? Well, yes. Well, maybe she'll try to manage the hospital, because that's where she is. I ran into George, and he said his wife broke her leg this morning. She'll be in traction for two weeks and laid up till the first of the year. The first of the year? Why, they'll have to cancel Christmas. She's in charge of Christmas? <laughs> well, she's in charge of the pageant, and she's in charge of the bazaar. You know, I do feel sorry for Helen, but who is going to do all those things? Oh, 
lonely at the table. I think Helen is getting lonely at the hospital. Not as long as the telephones are working. Oh, I bet she told you about the no clubbers, only small actors. And that he's just going to shout the baby angel on the stage and make the shepherd shut up. Yes, she did. You know, she suggested your father. Does that mean I have to go? Oh, and Grace, don't get just anybody's baby for Jesus. Get a quiet one. Better yet, get two if you can. That way, if one turns out to be fussy, you could always switch them. <laughs>
pretty rehearsal. What if they get sick? <laughs> well, they're not going to get sick either, Elmer. Well, Beverly got sick and we didn't even start yet. <laughs> we don't know that Beverly got sick. Okay, well, let's just, oh, dear. Be 
in that Christmas pageant when they ought to be in jail. <laughs> Vera, Irma Sloka, I just heard that Emma Jean Herman's going to be Mary in the Christmas pageant. What? All six of them? Vera, I live next door to that outfit, and I'd rather live next door to the zoo. Has Grace gone crazy? Where did they come from? Who let them in? Imogene Herman? Well, what kind of a child is that to play Mary, the mother of Jesus? And where was Reverend Hopkins, I'd like to know? He was what? Visiting shut-ins? Well, I'm a shut-in and he wasn't visiting me. What's the matter with Grace? Couldn't she have just said this? Oh, I'm sure. Tell them to tell you. Oh, you to let me pass out. I feel so sorry.
tightly in large pieces of material um, to keep them cozy and warm. You mean they tie them off and put them in a feed box? Where was the child welfare? The child welfare is in our house every five minutes. There wasn't any child welfare in Bethlehem. I'll say there wasn't. And there were shepherds keeping watch over their flocks by night, and lo, the angel of the Lord.
applesauce cake. Oh, wonderful. And um, we will try not to bother you. month ago, a little girl. Yes, she's five weeks old, and she is so wonderful. Oh, I wonder, if I were to call your niece, perhaps we could borrow your Hold baby? it, Grace. No. No. This baby is, I, I could lie to you, Grace, and just say, you know, this baby is sick or crazy or something, but the truth is, she's happy and healthy and beautiful, and we want to keep her just that way. So there's no way we're going to Now put 
that? There's angels all over the place. Was it Gladys? No! Gladys just brings the good news to the shepherds.
that's what they were in a way, Mary and Joseph. They were um, refugees of a, of a sort. They were a long way from home. They didn't have any place to stay. They didn't know anybody. They were probably cold and tired and hungry and messy. I don't know about cold, tired, and hungry, but they sure are messy. Oh, dear. Do you think that I should go with I think you worry too much. Now, listen. I have to push baby angels on stage and hand out shepherd's crooks and push them on stage. When do I do all this? Oh, here. Just follow the script. All right, let's see. Wise men, baby angels, shepherds. Doesn't seem to say in here where the fire engines come in. Oh! Just kidding. <laughs> You'll do fine. All right. Okay, is everyone here?
there, baby. I don't care. It looks awful, and they look awful. Well, they just traveled a long way, and they have a little baby to worry about. Who? Ralph and Imogene? No, Mary and Joseph. And in that region, there were shepherds in the fields who watched over their flocks by night.
was Imogene Herdman and the rest of them. This was the best Christmas pageant we ever had. And I think it was them. Is that possible? Well, I always get weepy at, at the pageant. I think it's the, the children and the carols and all. But you're right. It was the best pageant, and it should have been the worst. You know, there was just, I don't know, something different. Well, the angel of the Lord was different. <laughs> you know, I really liked that. She had a lot of spirit. Sometimes you can't even hear the angel of the Lord. I'm going to go tell Grace. You know, I just wish I would have let them use Eugene as the baby Jesus. Well, who was the baby Jesus? It was a doll. Oh, Irma, I don't think that was a doll. No, that was no doll. It did seem real. It did seem real. As if it might have happened just that way. We all thought the Christmas pageant was about Jesus. But as it turns out, that was only part of it. It was about a new baby and his mother and father were in a whole lot of trouble. No money, no place to go, and no doctor. And then, arriving from the east, some rich friends. Like, I guess it was because of the herdmen. This Christmas party was the best one we've ever had. Imogene burping the baby, and the wise men bringing such a sensible present. After all, you can't eat frankincense. And even Gladys, he's in the bar, go see him. So the Herdmans didn't have to travel all around the countryside trying to find the baby Jesus. But I guess it wasn't like that for Imogene. For her, it was a wonder and a mystery, as if she had just discovered what Christmas was all about. Afterwards, we had a party in the basement. But the Herdmans didn't stay. They didn't take all the cookies, and they didn't drink any of the hot cocoa, and they didn't even take their candy canes. I guess that's about it. Anybody left downstairs? Oh, no, they've all gone home. You do know you're wearing your bathrobe. You're not going to wear it outside, are you? Well, why not? Someone might take me for a shepherd. I wouldn't mind being a shepherd in this Christmas pageant. Oh, you can be one. Some lady came up to me and pinched my cheese just because Al's a shepherd. Oh. <laughs> Should I take this hand? Oh, no. We better leave it. You know, this is the Herdman's hand from the welfare basket. I tried to give it back to them, but Leroy said, it's a present, and you don't take back a present. Leroy said that? They must really hate ham. You and Al Swindle can. <laughs> hey, uh, what about the lights? Oh, they're on a timer. They go off at midnight. Well, that shouldn't be far away. Hey. Almost Christmas. Oh, it's almost 